passwords are considered the first line of defense against people that want to break into your network. Unfortunately, hackers are getting more and more sophisticated and have methods to crack common passwords. Firmware version 3.2 and later on Cisco Business Switches sets new requirements for passwords. Taking the time to create a complex password can help keep your network safe. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure the password settings on a Cisco Business 250 or 350 series switch using the command line interface. For this exercise, I'll use PuTTY. PuTTY is a terminal emulator application that you can download onto your computer for free. I will use it to log into the command line interface of the switch. In PuTTY, enter the host name or IP address of the switch. I'll enter 172.16.1.115 and 22 as the port number to be used for the SSH session in the port field. In the connection type area, select SSH. Click open to start the session. Log into the switch by entering the username and password. When logging in for the first time, the default username and password is Cisco in all lowercase letters. To enter the global configuration mode type, configure terminal and press enter. Now to configure the line password, type line. The options are console, SSH, and Telnet. For this case, I will select console and then hit enter. The unencrypted password must comply with the following new requirements. Minimal password length is eight characters by default, but they can be as long as 64. Characters cannot be repeated consecutively. The minimum number of repetitions allowed is three by default, but the range is one to 16. The password must be different than a number of previously used passwords on this account. 12 is the default, but the range can be set from one to 24. The number of different character classes that are required is three by default and configurable from one to four. Character classes include upper and lowercase letters, numerical and special characters. Any password called secret that was established or altered by the user will be compared to a list of common passwords. If the secret contains a word from the list, you will receive an error message that states, passwords must not match words in the dictionary and must not contain commonly used passwords. The password must not contain more than two sequential characters or numbers or the reverse value of these sequences. The password cannot contain the username or the words Cisco or CBS. Derivatives of these will not be accepted either. This restriction includes these words reversed or in any case. Restriction also includes letters that are replaced with other characters, such as a dollar sign for an S, the at symbol for an A, a zero for O, the number one for L, exclamation point for I, or the number three for E. Enter the command password, and then a password that meets these requirements. Hit enter. Enter the command exit to go back to the global configuration mode. Enter enable password level seven, and then the unencrypted password. If you need to return the user password to the default settings, type no enable password and confirm by pressing Y. You can also configure password aging, which is disabled by default. Aging is only relevant to users of the local database with a privilege level of 15 and to configured enable passwords of privilege level 15. The default configuration is 180 days. The range is one to 365 days. If password aging is enabled, when you log into the device within the 10 days preceding the password expiration date, a warning will be displayed, alerting you that the password will expire soon. You are then granted access to the device without changing the password. At this stage, it's your responsibility to change the password before the expiration date. To enable this setting, type passwords aging and then select the number of days. For this example, I will use 24. If you want to disable password aging, 
enter the command passwords aging zero. Now, to verify the password configuration, you must return to the privileged exec mode. To get to privileged exec mode, type in exit and press enter. Then type show passwords configuration and hit enter. This will display the password configurations on the switch. To wrap this up, save the configuration on the switch. Enter, copy running dash config, startup dash config, and press enter. Press Y to confirm saving the switch configuration. You are now covered. Your complex password helps keep your network safe on your Cisco Business 250 and 350 switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.